Pinecone State Tutorial using Rappel, the Hip Hop Daily Guesser. Your Python code in Pinecone is compiled to React components on the front end and shipped to the user. But on the back end, your Python code lives on along with your application state. Pinecone issues each user a unique ID to their browser and stores their own copy of state on the server. Pinecone uses event handlers to communicate user events such as clicking a button or hovering over text to signal the server to run respective Python code. The state is updated on the server and then the changes in state are sent back to the front end where React components reflect the new state. The entirety of your application state lives in your state class that inherits from the Pinecone states class. This is your base state. Optionally, you can further extend your base state to substates in order to further organize your code. Either way, you pass your base state into the app when initializing it as an instance at the bottom of your app entry page. In Rappel, I used input guess as my base state. I also used a couple of substates for my modals and a substate to manage the logic for setting and getting the daily song. Within your state class, you define the variables that can change in the application and the functions to make those changes. There are four types of variables. Base variables, computed variables, backend variables, and custom variables. Base variables are fields or class objects of your state class. If you do not give it a default value, you must provide a type annotation. In Rappel, you can see that I defined a current guest space var and placed it in the input box by referring to it like a class attribute. Computed variables are functions that return a value. Simply decorate your function with at pinecone.var and always type hint. You refer to this variable just like a base var in your UI. In Rappel, the comment on the user's performance is chosen from a list based on how many guesses they inputted. Pinecone API between your backend and frontend requires that both base variables and computed variables be JSON serializable, so stick to Python built-in types. Backend variables are like base variables, but do not have to be JSON serializable, so they can be freely used on the server. Start your variable name with an underscore and feel free to use any Python type. I did not use any in Rappel, but Pinecone docs use a NumPy array as a use case. Finally, custom variables allow you to define your own non-built-in types to communicate to the front end by extending Pinecone base class. Usually you can avoid this like I did in Rappel by reworking your code to only use built-in types. Functions defined in the state class is your backend logic. Change the value of your variables, interact with database or implement any arbitrary Python code. These functions are triggered by events on the front end. Each component has a list of valid events in its documentation. A couple examples from Rappel are when I use the button on click to trigger the submit guess function, which based on the state of the current guess, either shows an incorrect guess and displays another lyric, prevents the user from submitting a blank guess, or ends the game all while noting the player's performance. I also used onChange to the input box to trigger the suggested guesses to allow the player to pick from a list of valid guesses. In my experience, this communication technique between the front end and the back end was simple conceptually, but challenging when deciding how to structure the application. That is, in JavaScript web development, I'm used to being able to arbitrarily decide whether a script lives on the server or is shipped to the browser. But with Pinecone, you have to carefully decide how often you're going to change state and for what reason. State is completely managed on the server and as such, responsiveness will be limited by our server response time and the user's connectivity. I found myself optimizing more often than normal to prevent lagginess. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for further Pinecone content.